Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm Alexandra Carter. It is April 19th, 2024. Let's check in now with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl, who has a look at our early morning forecast. Bill, uh, what can we expect this weekend and today? Well, uh, the good news, we are going to see some sunshine this morning. It's been a gloomy week, uh, no secret there. After Monday, we had some sunshine, but much of the week we spent with clouds and periodic rain chances. We will see some sunshine this morning, but it's going to be rather chilly. So uh, kind of a good news, bad news scenario, I guess. Uh, yesterday, it was wet, cloudy most of the day, and cool with highs in the middle 50s in La Crosse and Eau Claire, right around 55, 56 degrees, 48 in Barocqua, 51 in Prairie du Chien. Skies are clear currently. And uh, again, we will start with some sunshine. We had 0.17 inches of rainfall, by the way, yesterday out at the La Crosse Airport. A little bit more to the south and little, if any, rain up to the north around Eau Claire. Averages today, 61 and 40, 87 and 20 are the record. Sunrise time this morning at 614. And we will see some sun to start. But as we head to the north, clouds uh, to the north will sag southward across the region and maybe find just enough moisture to squeeze out some flurries or sprinkles in spots. Temperatures are chilly, though. 32 in Preston and Viroqua, 34 in Decor. 34 in Eau Claire as well, 37 in La Crosse. And winds will be increasing. Uh, again, some sun this morning, clouds in the afternoon, highs only around 49 degrees. Uh, Alexandra, I will have more information with my eight-day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, we will see you then. Thank you. Time now for the stories making headlines right now. We are on the scene of some breaking news this morning in Toma. A call came in at about 4 a.m. for reports of some sort of slashing or stabbing with multiple victims on a Greyhound bus. Our crew is live. Uh, this is a live shot of the scene. You can see they're just in front of Denny's. You see the bus right there. This is uh, at the Denny's near exit 15 near the quick trip truck stop and Denny's and according to scanner traffic there were 39 people on the bus who have been moved inside of the Denny's now no word yet on the extent of their injuries obviously a very fluid situation we're waiting to hear more from police on scene who so far have have just told us no comment um, this is a live look at the scene once again you see some police vehicles there we will continue to update you throughout our newscast News is coming out of the Mideast this morning that tensions in the region have escalated once again. Days after Iran attacked Israel and missile strike against Iran. CBS's Jared Hill has the latest from New York. It's a fluid situation, uh, but here's what we know right now. Two U.S. officials have confirmed an Israeli missile did hit Iran overnight. A senior Israeli official told the Washington Post the strike was intended to signal to Iran that Israel can attack its territory. Now, as far as damage goes, the New York Times is reporting Iranian officials said the strike hit an airbase near the city of Isfahan. Now, that is home to some of Iran's nuclear facilities, but the International Atomic Energy Agency says the country's nuclear program was not damaged. Iran is really working to, to downplay this Israeli strike, at least publicly. State media posted this video of Iran's air defense shooting down what they called mini drones near Isfahan. There's also this video of a traffic circle with TV presenters. They're calling it a, a normal Friday. That seems to indicate that Iran is seeking to step down off the ledge, minimize uh, the uh, impact of the attack. Uh, and perhaps walk back down the escal escalation ladder from here. Now, what's not clear is whether Israel will act any further or if this apparent signal was enough. Remember, this comes just days after Iran fired hundreds of drones and missiles at Israel in response to what they say was an Israeli strike on an Iranian embassy. The White House has been working to squash this back and forth, and we haven't heard much from U.S. leaders yet, but we are hearing they did not endorse a response. Secretary of State Antony Blinken had already been scheduled to give a press conference this morning. He's in Italy meeting with G7 foreign ministers. We'll certainly be watching that. Eau Claire police need your help finding this missing teen. Police say 16-year-old Colin Robidek left home Wednesday and has not been in contact with friends or family since. He's about six feet tall with blonde hair and blue eyes. He was last seen riding a dark gray Trek bicycle and wearing a black sweatshirt and sweatpants. If you have any information on his whereabouts, call Eau Claire police at the number on your screen.
The suspect in a village of Norwalk hit and run and shooting is in custody. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, deputies were investigating a hit and run crash when they heard a single gunshot at the suspect's home. The suspect's roommate then ran out and was detained. Deputies say when they entered the home, 18 year old Eduardo Jimenez dropped the firearm and tried to run. He was arrested and is now in the Monroe County Jail facing multiple charges. Town of Campbell police are asking for help finding a suspected thief. According to a Facebook post, police believe Edward Slimmon is connected to a string of vehicle entries and theft. He was last seen wearing a Green Bay Packers jacket. Police say he has a probation warrant and pending charges against him. Anyone with information on his location should contact the Campbell Police Department. An Alma woman was sentenced yesterday for her role in a fatal car crash in Buffalo County. News 8 Now's Michael Germain was at the sentencing and has more. Germain was held for Jacqueline Britt, who killed a man on a motorcycle while operating a motor vehicle under methamphetamine. Family members and friends gathered today to share their condolences and the impact that he had on their lives. According to the criminal complaint, on May 31st, 2022, the Wisconsin State Patrol responded to a car versus motorcycle crash on the Wabasha Bridge in the township of Buffalo County. Jacqueline Britt was traveling northbound on State Highway 25 in a 2005 Dodge Magnum. After crossing the state line, her car traveled into the southbound lane for approximately 100 yards before striking a motorcyclist head-on, killing him. Britt denied using any drugs within the previous 24 hours of the crash. A toxology report later indicated that methamphetamine was detected in her blood. According to court records, Britt pleaded guilty of homicide by vehicle while using a controlled substance. Family members and friends of Douglas Hildebrandt appeared in court to provide their impact statements. Crashes happen, accidents happen, but we learned that this was not an accident. This crash was preventable. The choices that Ms. Britt made on May 31st, 2022 have forever changed my life. No life can be unfair when cancer took my brother. Just life. I'm still grieving his death, but the grief for my dad's death is different. I have grieved that I've never felt before. The judge sentenced Britt with 10 years initially in confinement and another 10 years of extended supervision. A restitution hearing will be held here on June 19th at 2 p.m. Reporting in Alma, Michael Germain, News 8 Now. And Vice President Kamala Harris will travel to La Crosse Monday, marking her third visit to the Badger State this year. She'll appear at two events in La Crosse, one focused on abortion rights, the other on the economy and health care. The Biden campaign hasn't released too many details yet, including when or where the VP will speak. But when they do, we will let you know on air and on our digital platforms. Science teachers from all over the region are spending the next few days at the La Crosse Center for the Society of Science Teachers Conference. The theme of the three day conference is Driftless Wonders. Teachers can engage in workshops and field trips based on the unique geographical features of the Driftless area. A main focus of the conference is educating teachers on the best ways to encourage student interest in science based careers. By building these relationships with other teachers and sharing resources and ideas and knowing which lessons are the most engaging, we're going to engage those students in, in, into this, this science world. More than 600 teachers attended the conference, including some from the La Crosse School District. The conference is held every few years in La Crosse. From smoke alarm installations to cleaning up the town to jamming out to some of your favorite rock songs, we have a few things happening this weekend to let you know about. La Crosse Fire Department and American Red Cross holding a smoke detector distribution event tomorrow. Sign up for free smoke alarms and CO detectors by calling the number on your screen. And Eau Claire's 16th annual Amazing Eau Claire Cleanup runs from 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow. Volunteers can register at the link on your screen to help clean city parks, playgrounds, and the downtown. And Three Rivers Martial Arts Academy in La Crosse hosting an open house from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow with demonstrations of Taekwondo, Judo, and traditional Okinawan weapons. Monroe County's Crime Stoppers is presenting an ultimate tribute to Credence Clearwater Revival at 6 p.m. tomorrow in the Sparta High School Auditorium. Doors open at 5 p.m. A suggested $15 donation benefits the Crime Stoppers. The time now is 6.07. Still ahead on your morning news, Trader Joe's is recalling basil due to possible salmonella contamination. We'll tell you what you need to know to keep your spice cabinet safe. Stay tuned for details in our consumer news. 
and educators are making less money than they used to in the Badger State. We'll take a look at the worrying trend and why some say it's driving the teacher shortage. And for now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Now is the time to rid your cabinets of unused prescriptions and expired medications. Today is National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day. The company that founded the day, DisposeRx, wants to raise awareness about the dangers of keeping out-of-date prescriptions or over-the-counter medications. They've been linked to addiction, overdoses, and poisonings. While some medicines don't necessarily expire, their potency can change over time. This applies to medicines for your pets too. Many pharmacies offer free drop-off and disposal for expired medications. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news is just after the break. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Wake up to friends every single morning. Amy is honest. You train like you're a professional athlete. You never know when I'm going to get the call into the big leagues. Yeah, but how old are you? If she doesn't agree, she tells me to my face. Garth Brooks, number one. George Strait, number one. She's got your back, but she will also check me if I need it. Yes. It's just a lot of fun every single morning. Totally agree. Come hang with us. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kix 106.3. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic, which Car and Driver calls fun to drive. There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Carl's Spring Cleaning Sale is going on right now. Save up to 60% on floor displays, scratch and dent, and one-of-a-kind items. Buy an LG four-piece kitchen package and get an LG 55-inch TV free. Purchase an LG laundry pair and get a nine-month supply of detergent free. TVs are clearance price. Save up to 70% on in-stock mattresses. Also, our new grills have arrived. Our spring cleaning sale is on. Carl's is servicing dealer since 1956. Remember when I said we need a screen for colon cancer? Was that after I texted the age to screen was now 45? Because I, I said, said Cologuard. Hey there. Where did he come from? Yep, with me, you can screen at home. Just talk to your provider. We'll screen with Cologuard and do it my way. Cologuard is a one-of-a-kind way to screen for colon cancer that's effective and non-invasive. It's for people 45 plus at average risk, not high risk. False positive and negative results may occur. Ask your provider for me, Cologuard. For nourished, lightweight hair, the right ingredients make all the difference. New Herbal Essences Sulfate Free is now packed with plant-based ingredients your hair will love. Like pure aloe and camellia flower oil. And none of the things it won't. Hair feels deeply nourished, soft, and lightweight. Plant power you can feel. New Herbal Essences Sulfate Free. College is more than the knowledge you gain. It's a place to cultivate your curiosity. It's where you explore the potential and what's next. It's where you find the tenacity to rise, rather than settle for good enough. It's a series of moments that add up to form your future self. It's where what you want is within reach, on your terms. It's where you find a career, not just a job. Western Technical College, discover what you're made of. Welcome back and a good Friday morning to it at 611. School cast for today is to get the little ones ready for their day. Make sure they are prepared for some rather chilly temperatures for this time of year. We're starting in the 30s. We'll be around 39 at 7 a.m. 47 by lunchtime, uh, probably hitting an afternoon high around 48 or 49 shortly after lunchtime. And then temperatures start to fall as the clouds thicken and the winds increase this afternoon. Uh, Brewster looking out the window here, I think like a lot of us saying, uh, when is the sun going to return? When's the rain going to stop? And uh, maybe when's it going to warm up? Well, the good news, Brewster, you will see some sunshine today. 
during the morning hours before those clouds return. But again, it's going to be rather chilly. So if uh, Susie takes you for a walk, uh, make sure you're both prepared for some breezy and chilly conditions. Now, skies are currently clear over downtown La Crosse as we await the sunrise momentarily. It occurs at 614 this morning. Chilly and turning windy today. Again, those clouds in the afternoon might squeeze out some flurries or sprinkles in spots. Uh, we have freezing temperatures for some this morning. More of the same tonight and tomorrow night, even mid 30s Sunday night. And then uh, kind of periodic shower chances next week. The next chance comes later in the day on Monday. Skies are clear, but again, some clouds to the north. These are the ones that will filter south into the afternoon, maybe squeeze out some flurries or sprinkles in spots. 32 in Barroqua and Preston, 37 in La Crosse, 34 in Eau Claire, and 37 in Prairie du Chien. Uh, turning windy, and it's going to be chilly today with highs only in the upper 40s. I will have the rest of my eight-day forecast that's coming up in about three and a half minutes. In your consumer news this morning, police in Ohio evacuated a one square mile area yesterday after a truck carrying nearly 6,000 pounds of lithium ion batteries caught fire. The fire started after reports of smoke coming from the trailer. You see the smoke on your screen here. Firefighters used a robot to open the trailer doors, which allowed oxygen inside. Then that ignited the fire. The flames were then extinguished. Ohio's EPA is monitoring air quality for potential hazards. No injuries have been reported. Americans are still dealing with a tough housing market as home sales fall and prices keep climbing. The National Association of Realtors reported existing home sales fell to just over 4 million last month. The decline was felt everywhere except the Northeast, which saw an increase for the first time since November. The median price of an existing home was 393,500 last month. That is the highest March price on record and an increase of nearly 5% from just a year before. Take a close look inside your fridge this morning. Trader Joe's is voluntarily recalling this organic basil from the Infinite Herbs brand due to the risk of salmonella. In addition to Washington, D.C., the tainted products were sold in 29 states, including Minnesota. This brand of basil is no longer available at Trader Joe's. Customers are advised to return it for a refund if you bought some. A new report from Wisconsin's Department of Public Instruction shows a downward trend in teacher pay. News 8 Now's Allison Fergett spoke to educators across the state and shares their reaction with us. I loved the teaching profession. Chad Janowski left teaching in 2017 after 18 years in the role. Compensation was a contributing factor. I knew that my raise opportunities weren't going to continue uh, to be as good as they had been in the past. He's not the only one. The Department of Instruction's new report says compensation was one of the top reasons Wisconsin teachers left their position. We're professionals with professional degrees, uh, but we're not being compensated for it. The report found that when adjusted for inflation, teachers' total compensation packages decreased 19 percent between 2010 and 2022. Teachers say they're feeling the pinch. The percentage on my raise this last year, if you really come down to the dollars with inflation, the cost of everything in life going up, I took a pay cut. In Wisconsin, school districts determine their teachers' salaries. When districts struggle to keep a balanced budget, teachers can feel it in their paychecks. It was interesting that when that report came out, it was shared amongst staff here at school. And it really just confirmed what we already knew. I mean, because we've been living it. Eric Martin is a social studies teacher at La Crosse's Logan High School. Back in 2022, the La Crosse School Board voted to give teachers a 2.7% raise, below the recommended 3% for inflation. The district is currently facing a multi million dollar deficit. The earning power of a teacher in the last few years has really dropped off. Jennifer Camerud, one of the authors of the study, says they can't say for certain why the overall decrease is happening, but it's an opportunity for the state to figure out what needs to change. This report paints a pretty clear picture of where we have significant work to do. Reporting in La Crosse, Allison Fergit, News 8 Now. The time now is 6.16. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at today's forecast. Good morning, Alexandra. Uh, boy, we're looking at the drought monitor released this week and no changes, but I do want to draw your attention to the upper portion of your screen here. This data only through Tuesday morning, and you'll recall 
We've had quite a lot of rainfall from Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night and then more on Wednesday and more yesterday. So in fact, about one to as much as three inches of rainfall. So that could change uh, these numbers, by the way. Uh, just wanted to uh, make that clear that uh, the data only goes through Tuesday morning. In fact, yesterday we added uh, more rainfall, especially central and southern portions of the area, most uh, down to the south and west here, where a quarter to a half an inch fell uh, in the cross at the airport, 0.17 inches, and very little rain fell, uh, if any, up towards Eau Claire. Skies are clear for a change this morning. We'll finally see some sunshine to start our Friday. It's chilly, though, 37 degrees at the airport and downtown. West winds at 12, making it feel like 29, Burr, 34 in Eau Claire with a wind chill factor of 27, and the Chippewa River is rising thanks to the recent rainfall. So temperatures are chilly this morning. In fact, freezing right now in Preston and Viroqua, 31 over in Rochester, 35 in Black River Falls, 33 in Sparta, and 37 in Prairie du Chien. And that's why the National Weather Service has frost and freeze headlines in play through 8 o'clock this morning. But you know what? It's going to be just as cold, if not colder, uh, tonight and tomorrow night as well. So uh, get used to these types of temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s and uh, definitely hold off on any uh, growing season or planting season uh, plants. Now winds currently from the west 5 to 15. They will be increasing through the day, currently causing wind chills in the 20s to lower 30s. Again, skies are clear, so we're going to see some sun to start, but then a trough up to the north here is the cause for these clouds that will sink southward. And as that does, uh, we will see some sprinkle or flurry chances coming from those clouds and increasing winds today as well. Kind of a squeeze play from that ridge of high pressure over Nebraska and that low up near Hudson Bay, Canada. So sunshine to start, but by lunchtime, those clouds start to creep in from the north and west. Again, maybe some sprinkles or flurries. That's the uh, blue and uh, kind of green dots you see on Sky Tracker there. Uh, partial clearing overnight tonight, and then a mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow and clear tomorrow night. And that's one reason we're going to be so cold uh, the next few nights. Zone forecast showing high temperatures today only in the mid to upper 40s, right around 47 to 49 in the La Crosse area. Maybe a couple 50 degree readings far south and then chillier to the north, 45 in Black River Falls. 44 in Whitehall and Arcadia, only 40 today in Ladysmith, 41 in Chippewa Falls, and 42 uh, in Eau Claire. So my forecast for today, whoops, skipped right through it. We'll back it up. Sunshine this morning, turning windy. Uh, west northwesterly winds 15 to 25, gusting to 35. Again, some cloud sprinkles and flurries this afternoon. Tonight, 33, still breezy with a mix of clouds and stars. 50 tomorrow and still breezy. The nicer of the two days will be Sunday, mostly sunny highs near 60. Another cold night Saturday night and even chilly Sunday night as well. And then a little bit more seasonable next week. Highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s, but periodic rain chances uh, later Monday, Monday night and lingering into Tuesday. And then some periodic rain chances next Thursday, Friday and Saturday as well. So. Uh, not the greatest of Saturdays, but Sunday, Alexandra, is not going to be too bad with those highs right near 60 degrees. Back to you. All right, I'll take that, Bill, I guess. Thank you. The time now is 620. Still to come on your morning news. Despite water crises involving PFOS contamination in cities like Campbell, many Americans still exposed to these forever chemicals every day. Coming up, some ways you can limit your exposure. The track was jam-packed on Thursday at Westby High, plus one of Central High's best, making his next chapter official. All that coming up on The Blitz. At Ashley Springs semi-annual sale, you can spring into savings with Hot Buy $7.99 and under. Plus, shop our spring sofa sale with 0% interest until April 2029 on in-store purchases. Hurry in and meet the all-new Ashley today. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we can get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to build your dream yard or get out on the water, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card for every $100 spent on Scott's products. Like Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed, $64.99 after sale and mail-in rebate. Or Scott's Naturescapes Mulch, three for 10 bucks. Save even more with mail-in rebate. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Quality time with Taco John's. You never forget the big moments, like devouring your first slice of crispy oven-baked taco pizza loaded with seven layers of classic taco toppings. Or your wedding, both are life-changing. One-of-a-kind new taco pizza, only at Taco John's. Ram is built to serve, and you'll find the Ram you're looking for at Pischke Motors in West Salem or Pischke Motors Lacrosse. It's last call on a Hemi V8 1500 during Ram Truck Month. 
Stop into Pishke Motors now to see our great selection. Ram combines power, technology, comfort, and capability with unparalleled durability, towing, hauling. Ram's V8 Hemi 1500 has you covered. Hurry in before they're all gone for good. Start your search at Pishke.com and then drive away in your new Ram. Experience the legendary whalers at the Lacrosse Center this Saturday, April 20th. This adorable shelter pet wants to meet you and your family today. The News 8 Now Pet of the Week is brought to you by Wisconsin Veterinary Orthopedics. Join the conversation at Facebook.com slash News 8000. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. Meet the all-new Ashley. Discover new styles in remodeled stores. Offering everything you need to create inspired spaces. From our store to your door. The new Ashley. It's the love of home. Welcome to the Blitz. What a week it's been for our high school athletes. 38 of them signing their letter of intent on Wednesday as they plan on pursuing their dreams at the next level. And that dream of playing collegiate basketball is now a reality for a very special young man over at Central High School. Multi-sport athlete Henry Meyer has been a leader on and off the court for the Riverhawks during his high school career. And now Meyer making his next step official yesterday. The seniors headed to St. Louis, Missouri as he plans to continue his academic and athletic career at D2 program Maryville University. Meyer signing his letter of intent in front of friends, family, teammates, and coaches. Meyer says he credits the coaching staff at Central for helping him believe that he could play high-level basketball. But now, it's time to prove it. I always try to stay humble, but I always, I always knew I could get to the scholarship level, so it wasn't, it didn't come a surprise when the opportunity, you know, came up. I'm more, I'm just excited about the challenge, you know, like, I mean, it's a really good competition. I mean, I'm coming in at the bottom, and I, I kind of want to work my way up, so, you know, that's what I'm most excited about. I love that. Meyer still has a few months to work on his game here in lacrosse before he heads to St. Louis in August. The announcements keep pouring in. Big news out of Prayer to Sheen. PDC's Blake Thierry announcing on his social media page this week that he has verbally committed to Indiana. Now the 6'4", 220 pounder, still only a junior in high school, but Thierry caught the eyes of the Hoosiers coaching staff. Thierry says they told him he could be used in a variety of ways on both sides of the football. Besides playing tight end and running back for the Blackhawks, Thierry is one of the highest ranked long snappers in the country. Let's hit the track at Westby High for the UFTA Invitational. We'll start with the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay as Mauston finishing in first at just over 8 minutes and 40 seconds. On the girls' side, Sparta takes first place at just over 11 minutes. Girls' 100 meter hurdles, Mauston's Eden Finucan hits another gear. The freshman flying toward a first place finish of 19.56. On the boys' side, it's Zach Bjorkland ahead of the pack. The junior gets it done on his home track as he takes first place at 16.74. Girls 100 meter dash, Barofa's Alana Christensen pulls ahead down the stretch. The sophomore crosses first at 13.31. For the boys, this one was tight. Photo finish, but Sparta's Reese Ott wins it at 11.95. Let's go to the girls 1600 meter run. Total domination on our home track. Westby sophomore Elizabeth Curtis gets it done in just over five minutes and 24 seconds. Curtis in the zone and it pays off. Let's head over to the boys. Pole vault, didn't want to miss Bangor. Sam Crenshaw in action. The senior clearing 14 feet. Good enough for first place on the day. Mauston's Eli Hallwood also clearing 14 feet. A personal record for the senior. We'll wrap it up with the boys 1600 meter run. Sparta junior Nicholas Lewis finishes with the top time as he sets a PR at just under four minutes and 57 seconds. On the softball circle, the Rangers were red hot at the plate. Logan puts up a 12 spot against Luther, thanks in large part to Molly Erickson and Maya Kendrick. The duo going a combined eight for eight on the day with seven RBIs. Rangers get the win 12 to one. Wisconsin's roster just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Chucky Hepburn has become the latest Badger to enter the transfer portal. Hepburn averaged just over nine points this past season. It was a drop off from his previous year when he averaged just over 12 points a game. Hepburn started 103 games over the past three seasons for Greg Gard. As for the one year wonder AJ Store, the former Badger 
been back and forth the past few weeks on what his future holds. But after one season in the Big Ten, Storr is headed to the Big 12 to play for Kansas. Storr did declare for the NBA draft a couple of weeks ago, but sounds like he's all in with the Jayhawks. Storr posting a picture of himself on social media wearing a Kansas Jayhawks jersey. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. Save now during the Refresher Space Spring Sale at Carpets To Go. Now until April 30th, you can save on beautiful carpet, exquisite hardwoods, laminate, and tile. Plus, at Carpets To Go, you can get free estimates, design, and six months financing. Save now through April 30th during the Refresher Space Spring Sale at Carpets To Go. Whatever you want on your floor, Carpets To Go in Onalaska. Did you touch the thermostat? Did you turn it up? Of course not. Did somebody fiddle with the thermostat? Dude, it's 85 degrees. 85? Do you have any idea what a couple degrees will do to our gas bill? Why is it so hot here? Someone turned up the heat. God. What do you think you're doing? I like to sit with my window open. You are not supposed to touch the thermostat. God. What if antibodies from sharks cured cancer? What if breast cancer was prevented with a vaccine? What if new science became clinical trials in real time? At UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, we search the depths of the ocean, the edges of space, turning possibilities into life-saving solutions and what-ifs into remarkable realities. UW Health Carbone Cancer Center. Remarkable. Carbone Spring Cleaning Sale is going on right now. Save up to 60% on floor displays, scratch and dent, and one-of-a-kind items. Buy an LG four-piece kitchen package and get an LG 55-inch TV free. Purchase an LG laundry pair and get a nine-month supply of detergent free. TVs are clearance price. Save up to 70% on in-stock mattresses. Also, our new grills have arrived. Our spring cleaning sale is on. Carl's is servicing dealer since 1956. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get $3,500 purchase cash on select GMC Sierra models. Or get a total of $6,000 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Here at The Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. We're on the scene of some breaking news out of Toma this morning as we take a live look at the scene now. A call came in at about 4 o'clock this morning for reports of some sort of slashing or stabbing with multiple victims. That is what was uh, reported on scanner traffic that we heard. This took place on a Greyhound bus. You can see the Greyhound bus is still there on the scene. Uh, those are some unmarked police vehicles. Uh, they've kind of been fluctuating in and out this morning. Our crew is live. This is near exit 15 near the quick trip truck stop and Denny's. You can see the Denny's right there in the back as well. According to the scanner traffic, there were 39 people on board the bus. They have since been moved inside of the Denny's. There's no word yet on the extent of their injuries or where the perpetrator is obviously a very fluid situation. We're waiting to hear more from police on scene so far. Uh, they tell us no comment. They won't provide us with any information, but we are continuing to monitor the situation and we will provide you updates throughout the rest of the newscast and on news 8000.com. Turning now to some morning medical news, you may soon hear the buzzing of cicadas flying by your ear. While these pests aren't harmful to most pets, they can cause upset stomachs if your pet is allergic to shellfish or if the tough exoskeletons irritate their GI tract. If your pet does show signs of stomach issues after eating cicadas, contact your vet.
It's being called a huge breakthrough by environmentalists, helping to protect human health. Last week, the first national standard was set to limit so-called forever chemicals found in nearly half of U.S. drinking water. Mandy Gaither reveals the dangers behind these chemicals and how you can lessen your exposure to them. They can be found in some makeup sunscreen, even pizza boxes, a large family of potentially dangerous synthetic chemicals. Plefluorokil and polyplefluorokil are substances that are known as forever chemicals. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says they're also called PFAS chemicals that can be found in consumer products that are made to be waterproof, non-stick, and stain resistant. These chemicals have been developed at this breakneck pace. And again, they're called forever chemicals because they don't break down completely. Gupta says that means what makes them durable also makes them hard to get rid of. They linger in the environment and the human body. The CDC says nearly 97% of all Americans have these chemicals in their blood. They're linked to a variety of health problems, including cancer, kidney and liver damage and other serious health problems in people with prolonged exposure. But you can lessen your exposure. You can avoid stain and water resistant products and sprays. If you order delivery or takeout from restaurants, remove your food from takeout containers before reheating. When cooking at home, steer clear of nonstick cookware and filter your drinking water with activated carbon or reverse osmosis if possible. Until just last week, there was no federal standard on the chemicals in drinking water. The new national standard is legally enforceable. Water utilities will now have to filter out five types of individual forever chemicals. There's also a limit for mixtures of any two or more of these chemicals, a problem we know all too well here in the Cooley region. Winona State University students putting their best work on display, sharing research projects and internship experiences from the past year with the community. More than 200 students presented yesterday. They presented findings from their projects, which span a variety of disciplines. A co-chair for the showcase says the presentations are a way for the students to develop life skills they'll need when they graduate. Um, it gives them an opportunity to share with the community what they have learned, what they've contributed in terms of new knowledge, and a chance to communicate that knowledge, which is sort of an essential skill that they are developing as students in preparation for their careers and their life after their time here at Winona State. There were more than 118 presentations at the showcase. While films typically take months or even years to make, the La Crosse Film Academy challenged local filmmakers to make one in just 48 hours. The Academy held its inaugural 48-hour film festival at the Rivoli Theater, where 14 teams were assigned a phrase and an action to include in a short film. The films were screened last night and judges chose a winner. Organizers hope the event will encourage more community involvement in the local art scene. A really valuable form of education for a community in general and so this festival in particular we thought would be a nice accessible way to bring people into the fold. The Curse Guy by Curious People won the competition winning a thousand dollars and the runner-up got 500. Additionally there was an audience choice award received by Central High School's film club. They won a gift basket worth $500 and they were the first ever recipients of the La Crosse Film Academy's traveling trophy. The time now is 6.35. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect for our morning commute. No rain gear today, Bill. No rain gear, but uh, you'll need to locate those sunglasses. Nice change of pace. In fact, a sight for sore eyes through city camp showing sunshine. Uh, the flip side, though, is it's rather chilly this morning. But uh, my goodness, look at the uh, green up from the recent rainfall on the shoulders of Interstate 90. Uh, looking great out there with the grass uh, quickly greening up. It's amazing what a little bit of moisture will do uh, this time of year. Again, you'll need the sun sunglasses this morning, but uh, also a jacket or sweater. Temperatures only in the 30s, and we're going to see highs today only in the 40s. Clouds will increase for the afternoon. Maybe some sprinkles or flurries squeezed out of some of those clouds, but it really shouldn't be uh, all that big of a deal, turning windy through the day as well. Again, skies are currently clear, but there's those clouds to the north, which will kind of sag southward across the region and bring that chance for some sprinkles or flurries. And then uh, looking ahead, or I should say uh, uh, temperatures, we are in the uh, 32 to 38 degree range. In fact, it's freezing right now in Preston and Viroqua, 37 in La Crosse. So windy today, some sun this morning, clouds this afternoon, highs only around 49 degrees. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast on the other side of the break. Break. Alexandra.
before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's Eight. We have Oliver turning eight today. He loves living out in the country and playing with his brothers. And Meadow is also turning eight. She loves being around her family, friends, and as you can see here, horses. And Don is turning 80 today. He loves being outside, going fishing, and being around his wife, Gloria. Happy birthday to you three. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button underneath the Home tab. This morning, to celebrate, we'll have the chef, GM, and owner of Dublin Square in studio with us. At Bygoff and Rody, we know reputation is important, and it can affect your case's outcome. If you want your case to be taken seriously, you need lawyers who are taken seriously. Bygoff and Rody, serious injuries need serious lawyers. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scoop to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always served with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious! After I decided my pain was too much and my doctor actually suggested that I do visit the Good Feet store. Pretty amazing when they put the arch supports in your shoe and you walk around and you realize there's not pain and you think, how can this arch support in my shoe make my back pain go away? But it works. And how can it make my knee pain go away? It was incredible. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. At Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, we're bringing out all the latest styles for patio and outdoor furniture. From dining sets to sectionals and even fire tables, they're all on sale. We've got all of our favorites in stock. That means no waiting. Plus, for a limited time, you'll receive free delivery on your outdoor furniture. Shop the best quality brands from Homecrest and Brizesta, furniture that's designed to last in any weather. Sale prices and free delivery happening now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. Dad always said I was special, that I would do something big someday. But for a while, we were just worried about getting to tomorrow. At UW Health, we found the team that made it their mission. Not just to get me through the day, but to give me a new life and a new kidney. Now, my future is infinite. UW Health, remarkable. Experience the legendary whalers at the La Crosse Center this Saturday, April 20th. Results are in for the 2024 Best of La Crosse County. Head to bestoflacrossecounty.com to see the winners in every category. Thank you to everyone who participated and congratulations to all the winners. Presented by River Valley Remodelers. Is your personal injury lawyer trying to sell you a settlement that you don't think is fair? You need a lawyer who won't settle your case just to move on to the next one. Get the full compensation you deserve. Get by Goff and Rody. Welcome back. It is 640. I've got a plethora of information for you, so let's dive right in. Uh, first of all, we ended our nine-day stretch of above-average uh, high temperatures yesterday with that cool high of 55. Uh, so seven of the days uh, so far this month have been below average. We're going to add a few more uh, today and tomorrow. Allergy report, medium symptoms across the board for poplar, juniper, and tree pollen in general today. And expect more pollen in the air as we dry out from the recent rainfall. Mowing forecast, uh, we do have some clouds and flurries and sprinkle chances this afternoon, but sunshine this morning, uh, rather breezy today and tomorrow and cool uh, both days as well. And then a warmer day Sunday, more seasonable with highs around 60 degrees. All right, let's uh, take a rain check. Uh, and some precip. This includes rain and melted down snow for the year since January 1. Uh, 5.66 inches in the cross. Uh, so getting closer to average, only an inch below average now. Last year through the state, we had 9.12. Uh, Eau Claire, 6.84 inches. So you are actually almost an inch above average uh, through April 19th. Last year through the state, you had 7.90 uh, inches of precip.
All right, sunshine for a change. That's a sight for sore eyes, so locate those sunglasses this morning. It's chilly, though, 37 degrees at the airport and downtown. Winds out of the west at 12, making it feel like 29. 34 for you folks in Eau Claire with a wind chill factor of 27. So uh, that's the trade-off. Yeah, we're seeing some sunshine this morning, but it is chilly. In fact, freezing right now in Preston and Viroqua, 34 in Decorah. 33 in Sparta, so that is what prompted the Weather Service to issue some frost and freeze headlines overnight and through 8 o'clock this morning. But you know what? Temperatures tonight and tomorrow night are going to be just as cold, if not colder, with the readings in the upper 20s to lower 30s. So continue to hold off on those uh, early season planting plans. Uh, winds out of the west at 5 to 15. They will pick up through the day, currently causing wind chills in the mid to upper 20s in uh, many spots. So clear to start, but clouds to the north. That's with a trough that's going to sag south across the region and bring those clouds, maybe some sprinkles or flurries in spots as well. And uh, again, increasing winds and Sky Tracker will show that with the clouds sinking southward by lunchtime and into the afternoon. Uh, overnight tonight, some partial clearing and then for Saturday, kind of a mix of sun and clouds and dry and still kind of breezy and then clear tomorrow night. And uh, again, that's one reason we're going to be so cold the next couple of nights. Uh, speaking of chilly, at least, mid to upper 40s for highs today, right around uh, 47 to 49 degrees in the La Crosse area. Maybe a couple spots reaching 50 far south, and then cooler to the north, low 40s in Osseo and Mondovi, 40 today in Ladysmith, 41 in Eau Claire and uh, Chippewa Falls. I should say 41 in Chippewa Falls, 41. Uh, 42 in Eau Claire. Easy for me to say. <laughs> Turning windy, sunshine to start, clouds, sprinkles, and flurries potentially this afternoon. 49 for the high. Uh, cold tonight, lows around 33, still kind of breezy. And then 50 tomorrow, another cold night Saturday night, even chilly Sunday night, but more seasonable Sunday through next week with highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Kind of active as well, though, with periodic rain chances Monday and into uh, part of Tuesday, and then also Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's the latest check of my eight-day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with Foodie Friday. Every week for Foodie Friday, we talk with the business people and artisans behind local restaurants, bakeries, and bars. This week we're joined by Dublin Square Irish Pub and Eatery in downtown La Crosse. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being here. So for people who haven't visited, just start off by telling us a little bit, what is Dublin Square? Uh, Dublin Square is an Irish authentic pub uh, established in 2010. Mm -hmm and it's located at 103 North 3rd Street, okay. downtown La Crosse. All right, and it's under new ownership? You're a new owner? I have new ownership as the first of the year. Okay, very cool. Uh, so tell us a little bit, you brought some delicious looking items with you this morning. Tell us a little bit about what you brought. Uh, we have our Irish loaded bowl. Okay. Uh, we have our jalapeno bacon cream cheeseburger and some of our Reuben rolls. Okay, looks very good. So everything kind of has an Irish twist, is that right? Yeah, but for yes. sure. Yeah, uh, you know we will have the typical Rubens and and shepherd's pie, but for us and, and especially our our head chef Joe here, we really like to put a spin on on some of the unique cuisines with with Irish fare. Okay, yeah, that's very cool. And then you also brought uh, some drinks here. So you do have a whiskey club. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, we kicked off a whiskey club uh, day after St. Patty's Day. Okay. Um, so it's free to join, and really it's a chance for for customers to try all the unique Irish whiskeys that we carry here. I did bring a couple. Um, some of my favorites right there. Uh, like I said, it's free to join. Okay. You have until August 31st to complete the, the Whiskey Club card. Uh, once you do that, we're going to throw a big party for, for those who complete. And okay. then your name forever goes on the plaque at Dublin Square as part of our Whiskey Club. Okay, very cool. So this is the card, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so you just kind of have to, oh, it's just a bunch to check off. Just check off. Okay. All, all unique whiskeys you can try that you probably can't get anywhere else. Yeah, okay, very cool. Um, and so what else are you guys serving up? We already talked about food, but anything else that you guys want to share about your menu? I know you have a new menu launching soon. Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, we're bringing back some of our favorites. Uh, we're making, uh, going to be making our homemade jalapeno bites again. Okay. And bringing back the uh, Jameson orange chicken dinner and mm -hmm. sandwich. Okay, sounds very good. Uh, and that's launching next month in May? Yes. Okay, great. Um, and uh, what are your guys' favorite menu items? I love them all, but uh, fish and chips, Guinness beef tips, uh, Rubens are awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All all, right. Everything's good to me. Yeah, some good <laughs> classics there. Anything else that sticks out as a favorite? I'm uh, sure you make the food, so you love it all, right? <laughs> well, for the most for the most part, I like I like being able to put my own twist on things. Yeah. We do a surf and turf on Fridays. Okay. It's beef tips and two piece. Okay, very it's, cool. 
And then a patio opening up. Is it open now or does it open soon for the season? Um, it's open now, uh, pending weather. It is an enclosed patio okay. um, it, uh, when we want it to be. So if, if the weather is not right for us that day, we can close it, close it up, turn the heaters on. Otherwise, when that sun is out, patio is wide open and, and drinks and food are, are served out there. And it does always look busy. I mean, anytime <laughs> I walk by, that looks like a good time out there. Um, any special events or anything going on that you guys want us to know about? Yeah, for sure. Um, with our new menu launch, um, I did also bring a bottle of, of one of my favorite Cabernet wines. Okay. Uh, people don't look at us as, as so much as a wine spot, but yeah. we did uh, bring in a whole new wine lineup that will uh, pair nicely with our food. Um, at the same time, um, Sundays through April, we've uh, partnered with Surly Brewing Company up in the Twin Cities. Okay. Um, big friends of mine there, and, and uh, we're going to be throwing a big Surly party uh, at the end of April, the last Sunday in April at 11 a.m. So okay. come out, try some new Surly products, win some prizes there. Uh, and then lastly, every Wednesday, we do trivia uh, at 7 o'clock, 7 to 9 p.m., so that's always a really fun time. And, uh, especially if you're sitting out on the patio to play yeah. some trivia and do some people watching downtown. Yes, that sounds fun. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, appreciate thank it. No problem. And stay with us. We're back right after this. Coming up on CBS Mornings, we're following breaking news overnight out of Israel, a strike on Iran. We're going to have team coverage, including reaction from the Middle East and also the White House response here at home. Plus, a very candid and personal conversation with E! News co-host Kelty Knight speaking publicly about her struggles with a chronic health condition and why she made the difficult choice to have a hysterectomy. Also, how about a little kindness on this Friday? Kindness 101, to be exact. Steve Hartman and his kids have a lesson on purpose. We could all use some of that. You're not going to want to miss it. All that more at 7. Spring has sprung, the grass has riz. I wonder where the furniture is. At King Furniture, of course. During our spring clearance event, save an additional 10% off our already low prices. Plus, take advantage of 0% free financing. Recliners, sofas, sectionals, dining rooms, and more. With our huge selection of in-stock furniture, low price guarantee, and free delivery, why shop anywhere else? It's the King Furniture Spring Clearance Sale. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. It's the Friends of the Onalaska Library Book Sale, April 18th through the 20th. Thousands of donated and library discarded books, DVDs, CDs, and magazines. Most items priced a dollar or less, cash only. The UWL Jazz Ensemble and the UWL Jazz Orchestra present the Spring Jazz Concert, Saturday, April 20th, at the Tolan Theater in the Lowell Center for the Arts at UWL. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Good news. Yeah. I've got the champ on one side and the legend on the other. This is your family. You're not anywhere else other than right here. And I feel that. I suggest starting your day off with a dance party. Of course we're dancing. Turn you time into true time. We make this show for you. Wherever you are, just take it with you. Weekdays at 3 on News 8. The 8000 Plus app. Stream on your time.
Welcome back. It's 651. Time for your morning news now. Let's check in again with that breaking news we've been following this morning out of Toma. Here is a live look at the scene. The call came in at about four this morning for reports of some sort of slashing or stabbing with multiple victims on a Greyhound bus. You see that Greyhound bus right there. Our crew is live. This is near exit 15 near the Quick Trip truck stop and Denny's. The bus is right there in front of the Denny's, as we mentioned. Multiple agencies have been responding to the situation throughout the morning. That includes the Toma police, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office and State Patrol. You can see a couple of the unmarked cars still in the parking lot there. Several of them have already left the scene. According to scanner traffic, there were 39 people on the bus. They have since been moved inside of the Denny's. It appears someone is walking to the scene right now. No word yet on the extent of the injuries. Obviously a very fluid situation. We're working to learn more details. Police on scene won't tell us anything right now. We will keep you updated throughout the day on News8000.com. Turning now to a story that's breaking overnight. U.S. officials confirming an Israeli strike near the Iranian city of Isfahan this morning. The strike comes hours after Iran warned it would retaliate in response to such an attack. Officials said the target wasn't nuclear, but the attack follows a stark warning from Iran's commanders yesterday. They said if Israel keeps threatening Iran's nuclear centers, the country would reconsider its nuclear policies. Iran currently has uranium enriched, close to weapons grade, but maintains its nuclear program is peaceful. Eau Claire police need your help finding this missing teen. Police say 16-year-old Colin Robideck left home Wednesday and has not been in contact with friends or family since. He's about six feet tall with blonde hair and blue eyes. He was last seen riding a dark gray Trek bicycle and wearing a black sweatsuit. If you have any information, contact the Eau Claire Police Department. That number is at the bottom of your screen. Teacher compensation in Wisconsin continues to drop. That is according to a new report from the Department of Public Instruction. The report found that when adjusted for inflation, teachers' total compensation dropped 19% between 2010 and 2022. In Wisconsin, school districts determine their teacher salaries. When districts struggle to keep a balanced budget, teachers feel it in their paychecks. It was interesting that when that report came out, it was shared amongst staff here at school. And it really just confirmed what we already knew. I mean, because we've been living it. In 2022, the La Crosse School Board voted to give teachers a 2.7% raise. That was below the recommended 3% for inflation. The district is currently facing a multi-million dollar deficit. Vice President Kamala Harris will travel to La Crosse Monday, marking her third visit to the Badger State this year. She's set to appear at two events in La Crosse, one focused on abortion rights and the other on the economy and health care. The Biden campaign hasn't released many details yet, including where or when the VP will speak. But when those details are released, we'll let you know on air and on our digital platforms. Well, it's nice to finally see some sunshine to start this Friday morning. The uh, trade-off, though, is it's chilly. Temperatures only in the 30s, 32 in Barroqua and Preston, 37 in La Crosse, and 34 in Eau Claire. Uh, chilly and turning windy today. Highs only in the upper 40s. Clouds this afternoon, maybe some sprinkles or flurries in spots as well. Still cool tomorrow, 50. A couple more cold nights in store tonight and tomorrow night. And then more seasonable Sunday through next week, upper 50s to low 60s with some periodic rain chances. All right, Bill, thank you. Well, from smoke alarm installation to cleaning up the town to jamming out to some of your favorites, there are a few things going on this weekend to let you know about. The Cross Fire Department and the American Red Cross are holding a smoke detector distribution event tomorrow. Sign up for free smoke alarms and CO detectors by calling the number on your screen. Eau Claire's 16th annual Amazing Eau Claire Cleanup runs from 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow. Volunteers can register at the link on your screen to help clean city parks, playgrounds, and the downtown. And Three Rivers Martial Arts Academy in La Crosse hosting an open house from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow with demonstrations of Taekwondo, Judo, and traditional Okinawan weapons. And Monroe County Crime Stoppers presents an ultimate tribute to Creedence Clearwater Revival at 6 o'clock tomorrow in the Sparta High School Auditorium. The doors will open at 5. A suggested $15 donation will benefit the Crime Stoppers. And thank you so much for starting your morning with us on News 8 Now this morning. Don't forget to check for updates to that breaking news at news8000.com. And we'll see you back here at noon. Until then, have a great Friday morning.